This is the SS Tran AMT 3000. I'm going to check the performance here. I've taken the lid off and uh, we'll be taking some readings and we'll be looking at a scope pattern here as well. So the setup I have here, I have a wire which uh, goes up there. It's about six foot. So we're using an indoor antenna. I'm going to use this tuning procedure in the manual to tune it as they recommend. You're supposed to use C5 capacitor to adjust it until you get 13 volts DC at the tuning peak. With S7, that's jumper S7 right there, it's installed. I'm adjusting C5. There it comes. For something under 13 volts, so there's 12 and a half volts. We'll look at the RF envelope the way it looks. Modulation. I'm going to turn up this gain with a 1000 hertz tone and we'll look at this envelope. All right, that's 100% modulation. Clipping the positive peaks on the top and bottom. Okay, I'm going to remove S7. This is what's causing that. There we go. S7 is removed. Now we have a proper amplitude modulated envelope. So what is causing it to clip like it did? Here's the output stage and here's where the test meter test points are. There's S7 jumpered. And when it's jumpered it gives the output to the meter more voltage so you can tune it. And of course it clips the positive peaks. With S7 in place it tends to clip the waveform as we saw. It puts a load on it. The way to take care of it Remove S7. So this is what a 100% modulated uh, amplitude modulated waveform looks like with a sine wave going into it. This is the 100% uh, modulated envelope and this is the modulating waveform at 1 kilohertz. This transmitter will easily make 125% positive peaks right there. You can see it. Um, there's the original waveform. If we push it further, well then it goes into clipping, but at this point, uh, with S7 removed, it makes a nice waveform. Now I'm going to check the, the audio response linearity with this thing called a trapezoid uh, waveform. There's a lot of information on the internet that explains what this, how this works. And uh, basically the trapezoid, once it's set up, the method for checking proper response for an AM transmitter. Here's the properly adjusted trapezoid pattern we just saw. 0% modulation and as we can turn it up, it goes up to 100%. This is what happens when it goes into over modulation. So this is our pattern to show how to adjust audio response sweep. So in conclusion, we can say this is a pretty good little transmitter for linear modulation or proper modulation. It's important to follow the setup here for proper operation. And so I'm going to go a little bit on the deeper side. Again, this is with S1 removed from the position. And I've set it up instead of for 1.2, I set it up for a little on the high side, 1.9 volts. And here is the uh, first test I did with the S7 jumper removed and here's T1, T2 test point. This was the ideal voltage I got for the best uh, response on the pattern. So back over here on the meter I've got 
1.9 volts, that's close to 2 volts uh, that I've set it up for. Well, the hardest thing with this transmitter is going to be for the high frequencies. In this case, we'll be using 10 kilohertz, okay? So we'll look at that 10 kilohertz on the trapezoid for linearity purposes. So we'll go to the scope. All right, I'm going to turn up 10 kilohertz. Here we go. See that? Looks real good. So at two, about 2 volts uh, set up on the scale I used, uh, 10 kilohertz looks real good. So the tendency is to take C5 right there along with the switches. Okay, you've got the inductors in C5 and to tune it for maximum output. Well, let's see what happens to the modulation at maximum output. I'm going to tune this now for maximum output. 8.6 volts is about as high as we're going to get that at peak. Now we see a bunch of phase error. You see those loops? Those represent phase errors. The pinch off doesn't look real good there. It's okay. Can you use it? Yeah. Overlapping the sine wave on top of the RF envelope. You see how it's shifted? That's our phase problem. Will it sound okay? Yeah, probably. But technically it's not correct. Here's my graph. I just pulled S1. That's with S7 jumper removed. So you can see 7.27 equals 25 and a half volts peak with no, no modulation. So it's probably going to be around 30 volts at 8 volts. So that's going to be a pretty healthy carrier. Here's some of the notations that I've taken uh, from the transmitter, from the frequency I'm operating it on, and the results I got, and the um, recommendations uh, made, and a little chart for the RF voltages, uh, and so on, and, and the schematic of the output and the modulator stages, which I think are really important um, for looking at this and understanding the transmitter uh, if you're into the technical side of it. So I'll put up the still frame. It's a pretty darn good little transmitter for what it does. It makes a pretty impressive AM carrier and sounds really good. Maybe in the next video I can do an evaluation of the modulation and compression controls on this and how they work along with the gain and how they can be used appropriately. But so far, so good. SS uh, AMT 3000.